Good afternoon. Very busy news day. Said it before. I'm going to say it again. I think there's a good chance we could go home this year. I'm not setting a day or time. I would never do that. No one knows, but only the Father. But we'll see that day approaching. That day will not take us by surprise. Doesn't it, isn't it just jaw-dropping that the signs are so clear? It's like God has a big neon sign. Repent. Jesus is coming. Jesus is the Savior of the world. Repent. And like nobody's paying attention. The two wrapped up in themselves and their trips and their going out to eat and movies and not saying there's something wrong with going out to eat and going to a movie. I'm not saying before because I can see it right now. Well, no, it's, you know what I mean. Um, just um, worldly things. That's what I'm trying to say. Sometimes I don't put my words together good. So worldly things, that's what I mean. Nothing wrong with going out to eat. Nothing wrong with going to a movie. Well, if you can find a movie worth watching today, everything's all satanic and blood and gore and I don't like those movies but every day we're here is a day to plant a seed I've been seeing a lot of comments of people getting weary and um, like if the rapture doesn't happen this year or there's not going to be a rapture okay Revelation 3 verse 10 is the clearest indicator there's a rapture our Heavenly Father does not show favoritism Elijah Noah Lot their families no, he's not going to do the same for us. He's a fair God. He's a just God. Yes, he will. And we're supposed to return with Jesus on a horse at the end of the tribulation. How are we going to return with Jesus on a horse if we're down here? We made him in the sky and then come back down? There is a rapture. Don't let Satan... Don't let Satan put those thoughts into your head to grow weary and to give up. Jesus is coming for us. Very soon, remember, it's like a thief in the night. I'm going to read a little bit from, um, <coughs> excuse me, Matthew 24, verse 6 and 7. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye not be troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. We're, we get all of that right now. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, your sins are washed clean. Sorry, that's my bed. <laughs> Past, present, and future. Now, this does not say we can go out sinning. We live for Christ. We've repented. It means a change of mind. Metanoia. We live for Christ. God sees everybody's heart. Jesus is the Savior of the world. If you believe that he was born of a virgin, lived a sin-free life, took on our sin on the cross, was crucified, but then three days later, he's alive. He's seated at the right hand of the Father. And when you believe in the shedding of his blood to wash your sins clean, you will be raptured. Now, if you've stumbled, stand back up. Remember, spiritual warfare is horrible right now. Satan isn't even hiding anymore. He is blatantly out there. But we have a Savior. Holy Spirit's always with us. Resist the devil and he will flee. I have been attacked more in the last couple of months than I have in the last couple of years. Health, finances, pets health. I mean, you name it. Even things that my daughter was going through that I'm not really going to get into right now, but um, thank you for praying for her. appreciate it. So hang in there, family. Time short. We are going home. All hell's about to break loose. The restrainer, us, <coughs> the church is holding that back. You don't want to be here for what's about to happen. Now, I just did a video how um, it says that our military is surrounding Iran. Hal Turner is reporting the Iran foreign minister, quote, we will not sit and watch. We will not be able to cease fire. I believe this is at the point of no return. I really, truly believe, I would say 95%. No, no, I'm going to say 98% that this is the war that will lead in the Antichrist. 
Iran's foreign minister has thrown down the gauntlet at the United Nations today. This is what he said. For three weeks, now this this is going to be hard to read, but for three weeks we have witnessed war crimes committed. <laughs> Last I checked, Israel was attacked and they're defending themselves. Nobody is going to sit back and allow somebody to attack them. Wow. This is, these are tough times, guys. It really is. This is sickening. Evil. The, wow. The genocide in Gaza and forced displacement there must be stopped immediately. The United States and some European countries supported the Israeli occupation regime. The United States and some European countries support the killing of about 7,000 civilians in less than three weeks in Gaza and the West Bank. I'm not even going to say because it's so graphic. We've all heard the reports of what Hamas did, and I'm just going to leave it at that. One second, I'm sorry. My daughter just... My mom, want, uh, she wants me to come over now so she can run errands. Well, I'm sorry, one second. Okay. Yeah, my daughter wants me to come over now. I'll, there goes doing Uber this afternoon. <laughs> Whenever you hear, Mom, what time you want me to come over? <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to finish reading this article here. Um, yeah, we've all heard the, the stories of what Hamas has done, and it's satanic. It's 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 demonic. It's uh, it's 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 so sad. It's so sad. I'm not I'm not going to repeat what it is, but we're all we all know. We all know. The United States must put an end to genocide and crimes in Palestine. With the continuation of the war in Gaza, we will not be able to cease fire. And West Asia is our regime. And we will not be complacent or conservative when it comes to our security. Well, what about Israel's security? They're just, they're defending themselves. They're like, there's like enough's enough, you know. Efforts being made to consider Palestine actions as terrorists will not deceive free nations and the global conscience. We tell the United States that if the genocide operation continues, we will not stand by and watch. If the genocide continues in Gaza, the United States will not be spared from this fire of war. Yeah. This is how Turner's analysis. This is his opinion. Folks, we have just been told we will not be spared from this fire of war. Now, a whole bunch of you are probably snickering to yourselves about how they have no real way to get to us. Except, yes, they do. They're already here. They've been crossed into our country via the wide open southern border for years, which the current regime has allowed. It still amazes me. Now, I've made my opinion clear. I don't trust anybody on either side, Republican or Democrat. I don't trust any of them. But I got eyes to see that the ones we have right now are demonic. And they're evil. And they're doing this intentionally. And it just, it's jaw-dropping. I know uh, two friends of mine that literally support him. And I pray that anybody that supports this regime, I pray in Jesus' name that the blinders are removed. But, um, yeah, so Iran absolutely can wage war against us here in America. You know, um, yesterday, I don't know if it was an open vision, but I was with my mother and I I just, just started having a strong feeling of BOM, you know what, going off, like, all over the place, you know, like, all over the place in this country, and, um, yeah, it was a split second, no. okay, I don't know how much we're going to be here for, I, I pray we're going home soon, but whatever we go through between now and the rapture, please, don't let go of the Lord's hand, he is with you, remember, he overcame the world, he's with you, and we are going home, and we're all meeting at the marriage supper. Hang in there. Armor up, family. I love you guys. I can't wait to meet you. Um, I gotta go. I gotta watch my grandson. Um, if there's any more breaking news, I'll be back on. You might hear um, my grandson in the background. But um, Keep looking up, family. Time's short. God bless.